This is the third GXS video and it covers the operation of the GXS pump. Dr. Simon Bruce will take us through the basics. So now we've got our GXS installed and in place. The process connection, the four line, is securely connected to our process. The isolation valve is closed. So we'll just check around the back of the pump. We have uh, water inlet connected through the recommended strainer in here out there. We have the purge gas correctly fitted to the flow meter here. We have the power securely connected through the Harting connector here. We have the all-important EMS plug firmly in place here. And we have the exhaust securely connected in. And incidentally, for most industrial applications, we like to drain it downhill to catch condensates, for example, moisture from the air, and keep them away from the pump. So now we're ready to start. We're ready to start the GXS now. Just checked that the emergency stop button is disengaged. Can't rotate it that way. And now we're going to use the dashboard to take control and to start the pump. So what do we see in the dashboard? There are three essential buttons. A button to take control, a button to start the pump, and a button to stop the pump. And there are a series of LEDs too. This LED associated with the start button shows the pump is running when it's green. This LED associated with the control button is on when you have control. Control is an important feature with the GXS. Only one thing can be in control at one time. If any form of remote control is already operating, you will not be able to take control with the dashboard control button. Conversely, if the dashboard is already in control, no form of remote control will be able to take over the pump. The other LEDs you see here, we have a power LED, of course that's green because the pump is under power. It should always be left under power constantly if possible. There is an LED for uh, warnings, this will be orange, an LED for alarms, that is a red one. And the final LED, a green LED, is for the green mode energy saving, or AUC as it's sometimes called, with the moon symbol. So the other feature on the dashboard, of course, at the end you have the serial port or the PDT port, which is used to plug in the portable display terminal, um, optional handheld terminal. So firstly, let's take control of the GXS by pressing the control button like this. And the dashboard now has control, the green LED is on here. So now we simply start the pump by pushing the start button here. And the green LED comes on and the pump starts. Notice that the LED is flashing here and the AUC light is on because we'll start off in warming up phase. By default the pump needs to achieve 95 degrees C internal temperature to be fully warmed up. When it is warmed up this LED will go off and this will become constant. During the warming up phase, the dry pump is rotating at full speed, 110 hertz, but the booster would normally rotate at the AUC speed of 20 hertz. And now it's reached the warm up temperature. The running LED is constantly on and the green mode AUC LED is now off and the booster accelerates to full speed. A standard feature of all GXS vacuum pumps is the ability to go into a green mode or energy saving mode whenever the pump is not actually needed for process duty but needs to be kept fully warmed up and ready for immediate use. This mode can also be referred to as AUC, Active Utility Control, or we say that the GXS is off process. This mode is typically used between batches or cycles of intermittent vacuum processes. Going into green mode, several things happen. Firstly, the rotational speed of the DP, the dry screw pump, reduces from normal full speed 110 Hz to 80 Hz in order to save electrical energy. If a mechanical booster MB is fitted, then this also reduces in speed from normal 102 Hz down to 20 Hz, which saves further energy. 
On MD or MD Plus versions of GXS, the internal solenoid valve controlling the switchable gas ballast also closes to save purge gas while the pump is off process. If there is an optional inlet isolation valve fitted to the GXS and wired for control into the accessory deconnector on the rear of the pump, then this isolation valve automatically closes whenever the GXS is off process in green mode. And finally, if the GXS remains in green mode for a long period and the DP temperature does eventually drop below the set point, then by default, the GXS auto rewarm function automatically increases the DP speed for a short period until the correct temperature is regained. Now, to take the pump into energy saving mode, green mode, or as we say, off process, we can use the start button on the dashboard again. By simply pressing the start button again at a prolonged push, we'll take the pump off process and into the AUC or green mode. So we'll do that now. A long press of the start button, the running LED starts to flash, and the AUC or green mode LED now comes on. So now the pump is slowing down, the dry pump reduces from 110 hertz to 80 hertz, the mechanical booster, the MB where fitted, drops from 102 hertz to 20 hertz and on MD and MD plus versions the switchable gas ballast will now be closed to save purge gas also. We can now come back on process come out of green mode simply by pressing the start button again. So a long push on the start button again brings us out of green mode and back on process up to full speed. So the LED is now constant, the pump is running normal speed, the green mode LED is off. Now we're ready to switch off the GXS, we've finished our process cycle and that's simply done with the dashboard using the pump stop button. And when the pump stop button is pressed, the pump will go by default into the standard auto shutdown routine. The auto shutdown routine is a 15 minute routine. The booster where fitted will be switched off. The dry pump will run at full speed and the inlet purge will be switched on to clean and dry the pump for that 15 minutes before it actually turns off. If there is an LD version of this pump which doesn't actually have the inlet purge, it will still run for 15 minutes by default. So let's do that now. A firm press of the stop button. And we're now going into auto shutdown routine. The booster switch is off and the dry pump will run at full speed for 15 minutes. And the running LED is now flashing. Now, of course, it may not always be convenient or, or necessary to use the standard auto shutdown, the 15 minute purge and shutdown of the GXS. And the other thing can be done is a fast or immediate shutdown. And that is achieved on the dashboard by first of all, pressing the uh, stop button firmly to get it into auto shutdown, lights flashing, and then within five seconds, pressing again to override the auto and put it into a fast shutdown. The contacts within the EMS plug itself enable two things. First of all, they can be wired into the customer's own emergency stop system to force the GXS to stop under appropriate circumstances. But also there are contacts here to signal out to the customer system that the emergency stop button on the front of the GXS has been pushed. The function of the front panel of the dashboard emergency stop button is very clear. You push this and the pump will immediately stop and we can just demonstrate that. The pump is uh, running at uh, normal speed. We, of course, we have control, the power is on. And so to stop the pump immediately, in case of an emergency, we simply press the emergency stop button. The pump immediately comes to a stop. And also we should note that the warning and the alarm LEDs come on as a stop alarm is raised because it's been diagnosed, there has been an emergency stop.
The EMS plug, emergency stop system plug, on the rear of every GXS has a similar function to the emergency stop button on the dashboard on the front. And by either opening the contacts which are wired into this EMS plug or simply removing the plug from its socket will also create an emergency stop of the pump. On the rear of the GXS next to the Ethernet and the serial port sockets you'll notice there are duplicate LEDs. There's an LED for power here, an LED for pump running which is also uh, an alarm LED and an LED for warnings here. And These are useful diagnostics on the back of the pump. Now, for simulating an emergency stop, I'm just going to remove the EMS plug here. Obviously, if this was wired to a customer system, it would be the customer's contact which was opened. So, simply removing the plug will generate an emergency stop. And if we now look at the LEDs here again, you will see we have the red alarm LED on and the yellow orange warning LED signifying an alarm which has stopped the pump. If the emergency stop button has been pressed, it needs to be released by twisting in a clockwise direction like that to enable the emergency stop to be cleared. And to clear the actual alarm condition which arose from the emergency stop, the pump needs to be started from the dashboard. So simply a restart of the pump by pressing the start button will start the pump and clear the alarm. If it's not appropriate to actually run the pump at this point, of course, you could also press the stop button again. All the main functions of the GXS are controlled by the set of standard sequences or routines which are programmed into the pump. And these begin with the start, warm up and going on process sequences which we've already seen. From being on process, the pump can be put into green mode to save energy. The normal way to stop the pump is with the auto shutdown sequence. By default, this runs for 15 minutes with inlet purge on, the MB off and with any inlet isolation valve closed. Alternatively, the pump can be stopped immediately, if required, by selecting Fast Stop instead. An alternative stopping method is the Intelligent or Smart Stop sequence. This provides user-adjustable speed decrease steps with adjustable time delays to customise the GXS stopping behaviour for special applications or for specific process control reasons. The next sequence provides the interlocking, which stops the pump in the event of any pump alarm being detected. Every GXS also has a standard process pressure control sequence incorporating a PID, Proportional Integral Derivative, control loop. This is for simple applications where it's useful to let the GXS regulate its own pumping speed to hold a constant process pressure measured by a vacuum gauge wired directly into the pump. MD Plus versions of GXS also have the dry pump clean sequence, which allows the pump to wash and dry itself with a solvent flush and a high flow air purge between process cycles. More details on this is in video 5. Finally, there is the standard sequence to allow safe solvent soaking of a GXS dry pump in cases of severe process contamination. The procedure for this will be covered in a later video.